welcome back to Full On Football. And we've got two candidates that want to try out for Hotel de Barton, do we, Batman and Robin? Yeah, I'll be looking for a, a spot on that. We should just get gigs. We should just get gigs. Yeah, sure do. We should just get gigs, I reckon. Tell me where to be and I'll go for the audition. Two big boys here. Woo! We'd be all, we all hey, sorts of hell break nice. loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks fantastic to have you here. Of course, we've got Dwayne Gray from Mobbury Jets, a coach of Mobbury Jets, and Aaron Vesterville from Raiders. Um, fellas, of course, State League. Um, well, you've had a couple of little stints there at State League, Aaron. Uh, this year, absolutely brilliant. The two new teams that have come in, uh, West Adelaide Blues and Sassy, doing absolutely brilliantly at the moment. Yeah, look, uh, West Adelaide were always going to be good. You know, they they recruited well. They got, I think, four players from Raiders. Yeah, four, five, So, yeah. you know, they've had Super League experience, those boys. And they're not bad players. They, they were good in the Super League. So mm. they were always going to do well, West Adelaide. And uh, here goes, you know, he's a smart coach. He, you know, he'd have them ticking over pretty well. So as for Sassy, you'd expect them to be a good side. You know, they've been together, I think, two years already. So... You know they should know how each other plays, and, and and Cookie's obviously doing a good job. And you know I'm sure they find the physical side hard, but uh, you know sometimes if you're more skillful, that'll beat a team that's more physical. So um, no, look, it's an interesting league, and Northern Demons have been probably the surprise packet. You know they're sitting up second, and <laughs> at the start of the year, I don't think anyone would have thought they would have been up there, even though they signed Farnacombe and, and Michael Edwards who score goals in the Super League and Premier League. So, um, no, look, it's an interesting league and, uh, I mean, Gawler beat NAB, so... Yeah, we'll have a know. look at that in a moment. But I was going to say that, uh, you know, what uh, teams look out for is obviously strikers because goals mean winning matches and these those two teams... Uh, well, you mentioned Northern Demons, yeah, they got those to Farncombe and, and all, obviously Michael Edwards who's scoring prolifically. But West Adelaide's got Markovic, this guy that is consistently bagging goals. And, and obviously, you know, that's what you need. Good strikers and, you know, you do oh, NAB is also, I mean, NAB are sitting third and they've got Vince Schmizzi down there. Yeah. And obviously just signed, it looks like, Stephen Peroni as well, whose uh, yeah. name is on the score sheet. So, yeah, it looks like the three teams at the top are the ones with the three uh, quality strikers, you'd think. And well, th th there's not many around either, Deezer. Yeah. Like, no, to, to find a good one, yeah. you know, you can find plenty of players that can play there. But whether they can put the goals away... That, that's another side of it, isn't yeah. it? You know, so. Well, some very, very entertaining football. Let's have a look at the results from the State League for Round 8. And uh, we had Western District Toros going down to Northern Demons, four goals to nil. And uh, Adrian Leake, the star signing that he mentioned, he said he's a star signing, but I've been told that it's the coach that makes the player. Would you agree <laughs> there? Coach can never win. <laughs> the coach can never that. win. Well, yeah, let's go back to those results. We had uh, Northern Demons uh, defeating Torres 4-0 with Adrian Lee, Michael Edwards again, Fasciano and Farncombe on the score sheet. So there we go, the guys that we were talking about right up there. Uh, West Adelaide Blues 5, Salisbury 2. That was a big game there, and I thought it would have been a lot closer. But there we see Markovic, hat-trick. Uh, Zoddy on scoring a goal and of course a known goal and uh, Spiby and um, Spibby and uh, Pierce Shane Pierce doing very well down there at Salisbury so great for Salisbury. Did you want to yeah, say something? Yeah, just a note on time? that. Now, you know, we expected that game to be a lot closer than what it was at five two. It seems like a runaway for West Adelaide. Yeah. Not forgetting that Salisbury had uh, Johnny Foe and Dave Burton both missing for that game. Oh, so big losses for Salisbury. Most definitely, folks been playing very well for them this uh, season. Okay, going back to the results. Uh, Playford and Sassy. Uh, I guess that was a good result for Playford because Sassy uh, can outrun any team, to, especially towards the end of a match. So uh, that was a great result there for Playford, a nil all draw against Sassy. NAB won, goal of five. When I text these results in, I had almost every person from the State League just confirming was that the actual result because they couldn't believe that. Gawler defeated NAB. So, uh, as we said, Peroni was on the score sheet for NAB. Trimboli, A Trimboli scoring a hat-trick, Sinclair and uh, Andrews for uh, Gawler. And Port Piri City won, Seaford won. Uh, would you like to pronounce that uh, name there? Anicciaricio. Anicciaricio. So, uh, I hope I got it right. Anyway, you'll let me know if I get it wrong like everybody does every thank week. I can, so, uh, I can do the next one. That, that well, guy from TOG. <laughs> <laughs> that guy from Port Pirie School. Yeah, so look, some, look, as we said, a huge win there for Gaul, a 5-1 against NAB. Surprising result, wasn't it? NAB right up amongst it until that, uh, that result. That's certainly a slip up for them. 
Uh, a lot of differing accounts to uh, how the game went. NAB supporters tell me that uh, they had a lot of the play but couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. And Gawler supporters tell me they just killed NAB. So <laughs> all of the games, are, I can't confirm either side of it, but certainly by the result, it looks like a, a very convincing win to Gawler. Well, that gives them great confidence. I mean, to be able to down someone like that is fantastic in anyone's terms. So, you know, well done to Gawler on that result. And let's hope that they can take it from here and get a couple of more, you know, wins under their belt. Especially at NAB's ground as well. That's yeah, yeah good exactly, result. exactly. A, a good result for our mate Benny Dale as well. Yeah. For Seaford. Uh, you know, it's a long trip to Port Perry. And all right, they might be disappointed to not get the uh, three points, but... You know, still they they didn't lose and uh, they they seem to be going a lot better this year, Steve. Yeah. They're more organised and you know, Cock and Apley just didn't make the trip to Port Pirie. He uh, you know stipulates in his contract that Port Pirie trips aren't uh, aren't on the uh, on the Conducive agenda. To so his whether that's because of uh, after the game things like maybe, uh, or I don't know if it's the drinking or he doesn't like sleeping in a room with boys. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, oh, good result. Good, well done to I Benny. Think we'll I leave that know. one alone before we get into trouble. <laughs> Let's have a look at the table after round eight for the state league. And as we said, uh, West Adelaide very strong there on top on 19 points. Northern Demons also very strong on 16 with NAB on 16. Look, it's very tight here. Sassy on 15. Salisbury 15 with the game in hand, Playford on 12, Gawler 7, Seaford 6, Port Pirie 4 and Western District Toros also with the game in hand, uh, obviously they're playing Salisbury, could do the dirty on them, you know, could at least draw, so uh, you know. You think so? Who knows? Have a look at a look, team look, that's played, played 7, <laughs> lost 7, 2 goals, 4 and 23 against. Would you have predicted Gawler would have thrashed NAB? I dare say yeah, no. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. No, On that I note, didn't. let's go to the fixtures <laughs> for round 9 for the State League. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's have a look at what we're up against. Sassy is at home at Santos Stadium to Port Pirie. Salisbury at home to NAB, that's going to be a very important match that one, uh, Salisbury would have to get a win to try and make their way up the ladder and NAB obviously coming off a loss, uh, also want to win. Northern Demons are at home to Playford City, um, interesting match that one. Seaford are at home to West Adelaide Blues, oh Seaford, you know, get ready to have a really hard match there. And uh, Gawler at home to Toros, now that could be anyone's match there at oh. Gawler. I think Gawler will, you know, obviously there'll be a lot of, there'll be a lot more confident after Saturday's win, I think. So, uh, and <laughs> like we said, Toro's have scored two goals. So unless they've signed a striker uh, during the week that's going to score them goals, I think they'll find it hard to to get to go to Gawler and get a result. Well, from all accounts, we had Lou Rusciuto, the coach of Toro's, on last week and uh, two weeks ago. And he was saying that actually weren't playing too bad football. It's just they're not getting the ball in the back of the net. And, of course, that's what you need to do to win matches. So, um, well, you'd have to say if they can't get a result in this game against Gawler, yeah. then uh, they're fair yeah. going to be struggling yeah. for the rest of the year. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, we're going to wind this up. And when we come back, we're actually going to be chatting with uh, Rocky Visconti from Hearts Football Club and seeing what he's been up to while he's been away for nearly two years. So stick with us. We're going to be right back. Here we go.